Hello, I'm Michael Shapiro, CEO and publisher of TheAlternativePress.com. TheAlternativePress.com is an all-online, objective, daily local newspaper. We cover everything from town council to high school sports. I started it with my wife four years ago in Summit, New Providence, and Berkeley Heights, New Jersey, and we have 20 sites covering 48 towns. We recently began licensing the site to entrepreneurial journalists, PR people, sales and marketing people who wanted to start the Alternative Press as their own business in their own town, and we already have 14 licensed sites up and running here in New Jersey. The way it works is the Alternative Press provides the platform and the hosting services. We provide email accounts, our marketing materials, media liability insurance, and uh, we also train the licensee both on the sales side as well as on the editorial side. The licensee is responsible for the news content for their town and the ad sales for their town. Basically everything else is taken care of for them. In effect, what we're offering is a turnkey solution to people who want to start the Alternative Press as their own business for their own town. My wife and I co-own the West Essex, New Jersey market for the Alternative Press. My wife and I went into this for a couple of reasons. The first is the low overhead. The only overhead that you would have to put out would be your resources purchasing a computer and your travel expenses. The exciting thing about the, being a licensee for the Alternative Press is the opportunity to make money. In a past life, my wife and I actually ran a business ourselves and you, you run into issues with margin, product, and things like that. This, there is no product other than the articles that are going out to the public, and that's a beneficial good. And the potential on the business per site is, is roughly between one hundred and fifty to uh, $200,000 in revenue. My name is Jackie Lieberman. I'm the Westfield editor and licensee for thealternativepress.com. I've worked for a number of national magazines, including Woman's World Magazine and Family Life Magazine. I've worked for local newspapers, websites, and of course, I began freelancing for the Alternative Press a little over a year ago. I never know what my day is going to be like. Uh, I wake up in the morning, there could be breaking news, there could be a major traffic accident, there could be something happening in Westfield. Some mornings I get up and I don't have that and I'm actually able to sit down and write and interview people. I meet with advertisers very often, print newspapers. They're cutting back, so they're not covering the local news that the way that they should and the way that people need them to. That's something we can step in and do. And we do it the way that people want to get it. They get it to their smartphones, they get it to their computers. So it's a very important service. They're getting it the way they want it and they're getting what they need. I'm a mom, I have a five-year-old boy and a two-year-old girl. And for me to be able to be home with them in the afternoons, I don't have a commute. I work the hours that I want to work. This is really fantastic for me. It's hard to find a job right now, and it's hard as a freelancer to have regular jobs come in. This is an opportunity for me to make a living doing what I love doing, and really putting something out there in the community where I live, and it's wonderful. I think TAP could be great for the local economy and for the overall economy. One of the things we're able to do is help local organizations, small businesses, get out there, get the word out about themselves without spending a fortune. And when it comes to local organizations, we're able to help them with press releases, they can post events on the site, and unlike a lot of newspapers, we don't charge them for this. And as far as advertising goes, we're a lot less expensive than a lot of the other options, so it really makes it available to everyone. I really believe that the AlternativePress.com is the face of small business going forward. Business comes down to local, and local, both in the present and the future, are one of the biggest growing uh, aspects of our economy. And we're able to have over 200 paid freelance reporters on staff, we have 50 columnists, and as we continue to license, we're in effect providing jobs, not only in New Jersey, but all over the country to people who want to start their own newspaper as their own business. If anyone is interested in potentially licensing a, a town or a territory, they can actually contact me directly at 908-370-1158 or my email address, which is Mike Shapiro at thealternativepress.com and I'd, I'd love to talk with you.